Yes, and we are back with some more of Why in the Morning, as promised. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Morning, every social media platform. And today is a special day for guys who are interested in cars, car dealership, uh, car rejuvenation, car fixing, and car everything about cars. Because the question on our Facebook is, do you think uh, a car is important as at now, or it's a... It's, uh, unnecessary expenditure. So head straight to our Facebook and tell us what you think about this particular story as we talk to these two young gentlemen who graduated and found a passion in cars. Karibusa. All right, so uh, you'll introduce yourself. Uh, maybe Tunezanza na Nabewe. Your camera is number four uh, as we produce. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for having me, for mm -hmm. having us uh, uh, Auto Speed Key Services. Mm -hmm. I am Dennis Geshure and I'm the technician at that company. Mm -hmm and we are working at our best to serve you and make your car great thank All right. you very much yes. you're your head of technical services technical services yes. uh, you're pretty mm. good at marketing as well yes. <laughs> I yes. can tell. Yeah. all right you. you can introduce yourself mm. yeah. former schoolmate <laughs> yeah. uh, my name is elijah mm -hmm. motito uh, we own the company with him mm -hmm. uh, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur, uh -huh. so as him. Uh -huh. So we have been uh, into this business with him, and uh, we are pretty doing well. All right. Yeah. So uh, auto, auto, auto key speed. service, auto speed, key service. auto speed key, key services, services. Yeah. auto speed key services. Yeah. All right. So uh, when, if we can date back to 20 years ago, this particular line of business didn't yes. exist. Yes. How did you find your passion in this? I, uh, when we started, mm -hmm. we, for example, we were in the same business. For example, uh, me personally, I'd, I was having a car wash mm -hmm. in the same location with him. Uh -huh. So, uh, like for us, uh, during the night hours, we uh -huh. could lose the keys uh -huh. for our customers. Uh -huh. Now we could find it very, very hard uh -huh. to, uh, to uh, find the key uh -huh. or duplicate the key uh -huh. for the customer to, to have his car back. Uh -huh. So it was usually a big problem for us. Uh -huh. So now that is where the common interest came, uh -huh. yes, to b for, for both of us. All right. Yes. So uh, it came out of losing keys. Yes. Customers are losing keys. Yes. Sometimes you, as a, as a service provider, you lose the keys belonging to your customers. Yeah. So this is a problem that, that recurred yes. from time to time. Yeah. So you mm. figured, let's find a solution to this. Wonderful. All right, so for every problem, there's a business opportunity. We keep confirming this every single Tuesday. All right, what happened next after you guys realized, okay, we can make this into a business? Yeah, once we realized that uh, there's, a, there's a problem, mm -hmm. you, you see, there's someone told me that, um, that for every idea you think, mm -hmm. it solves a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, that's true. Mm -hmm. And you find that customers are willing to buy your products mm -hmm. out there, mm -hmm. Uh, or service, mm -hmm. but until you shape that those that service or a product uh -huh. to meet their needs uh -huh. or desires, uh -huh. that's when you create some good revenues. Uh -huh. So that's when now uh, we decided, since this is an idea and we have seen it uh -huh. with ourselves that uh -huh. we are losing keys and we don't have where, where to be able to um, to go to ask maybe like uh, to mm -hmm. to duplicate a key uh -huh. is very expensive. You uh -huh. find some some cars are very expensive, uh -huh. so we decided let's do some market research uh -huh. and understand this niche. Uh -huh. This is a new niche. Uh -huh. I've never done it myself. Uh -huh. He has never done it himself. Uh -huh. He's only that uh, he was a, an IT guy. Uh -huh. So uh, some, some of the technical work, uh -huh. he had some clue. Uh -huh. So that's how we decided to now to go and research about it. Uh -huh. And we found a guy who is uh, like, a, like a mentor uh -huh. into the business. Uh -huh. And uh, he has been doing uh, as great things because uh, he has helped us in uh, one way or the other mm -hmm. to be able to get into the market mm -hmm. much easier mm -hmm. than it would have taken us to by v reviewing maybe those YouTube uh, or whatever. <laughs> videos uh, yeah. and, and, and Google. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so yeah. uh, you have a mentor. So a mentor really came through for you guys yes. and market research also really came through for you guys. Yes. All right, so... Uh, but why maybe towards something. Uh -huh. He never... It really came through uh -huh. as people think like men mentors are just there waiting for people to, to maybe like to mentor people. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Uh -huh. How it was, uh, uh -huh. this guy uh, persisted uh -huh. day mm -hmm. and day for uh -huh. almost like a week, uh -huh. showing in someone, 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 someone else's office uh -huh. and uh, trying to show him that I have interest in this field. Uh -huh. On the seventh day, he asked him, uh -huh. I've seen your consistency and maybe I may help you. Uh -huh. 
but I don't assure, I don't assure you uh -huh. that I will be like hundred percent into you. So mm -hmm. you are the one to, who is going to be making some some commitment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If I maybe uh, have a have a, a job to go to do in Nyeri, uh -huh. you have to follow me. Uh -huh. I don't care which means you're going to use, uh -huh. just follow me. Uh -huh. And that's how he, he, he was able to follow up uh -huh. and be able to learn uh, one or two things mm -hmm. which have uh, greatly impacted on our business. Wonderful. So persistence, persistence, persistence. Yeah. All right. During this process that you're persisting uh, in going to see this guy that is your potential mentor that right there, yes. uh, what is running through your mind? Uh, did you feel like giving up on, on the third day? Uh, at first, uh, I saw that the business was very, very much easy because uh -huh. he was making a lot of money. Uh -huh. Because he could come and charge you, for example, if you have a Mercedes, uh -huh. he'll, charge, he'll charge you 20,000. Uh -huh. So for To me, duplicate yeah, your key yes, or yes. to remake your key? Yes, a key. And how long was it taking to do this? Uh, almost 30 minutes. So it's never about the time spent in doing the work. It's about yes. uh, uh, what is done. Yes, and how yeah, and how you do it. Uh -huh. Yes, because uh, where I can come and mess up your car uh -huh. with with in that twenty minutes, and that car can <laughs> stall for, forever. Yeah, for so uh, we'll have to import some things, some uh -huh. yeah parts for your car. All right. So, so these are some of the risks you yes. run yes. when opening up the programs in somebody's car yes. and trying to close them back yes. as you fix a car. Yes. Now you see there is uh, there are components in the mm -hmm. car. Uh -huh where uh, the car uh, for if i can take a, a toyota smart uh, which uh, if i can take premium for example mm -hmm. 2010 mm -hmm. model for that it, most of them are they, they have the push to start uh -huh. the, the keyless uh -huh. entry key so for that uh, the key usually communicates with some receiver uh -huh. that receiver uh, usually communicates with it uh, that's why when you enter in th into the car uh -huh. you can start it without even putting the key there mm -hmm. so it communicates wirelessly all right the moment you yes. have that chip in yes. your yes. in your pocket yeah, when you have it in your pocket uh -huh. the moment you yes. spark the doors yes, yes. even even you can see it, it usually has uh, the keyless entry it uh -huh. senses the key there's wow. there's a receiver that is input. Uh, it is w uh, most uh, I can say at the boot mm -hmm. or at where the 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 front row. The so as we progress, as we proceed, yes. we are going to be seeing more and more technology in yes. cars. Yes, cars are going to be more and more automated. Yes, is this good business for you guys? That cars are getting more and more automated. I, well, mm -hmm. I can say it's it's going to be great goals. Uh -huh. You see, once they are automated, uh -huh. it means once you lose your key, <laughs> my brother, you're going to struggle. <laughs> you see? Oh. You're not a nice person. You're not a good person. <laughs> no, you see, uh, oh. there's always an opportunity. Uh -huh. you know? mm. And uh, even if they improve the security systems, uh -huh. you see, for you to lose, a, uh, sometimes it's, a, it's unfortunate that uh -huh. uh, you lose your key. Uh -huh. in, uh, maybe it, it, you can go clubbing and... Uh -huh. And it's stolen. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's, it can, can break. Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. So you will have to get somebody uh -huh. who is good at it. Uh -huh. And you will have to charge some good money for the service. All right. So in one way or the other, it's mm -hmm. good for the business. All right. Mm -hmm. Another problem that we deal with as a country is counterfeit. Yes. So uh, there's a lot of counterfeit going on uh, from counterfeit uh, goods to counterfeit uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> software to counterfeit everything. Yes. All right. So how do you how do you deal uh, mm -hmm. with such with, with such cases or such incidences? Because I'm guessing yes. you get your goods from somewhere, you get your chips from somewhere, yes. your raw materials from yes. somewhere. Yes. How do you deal with the issue of counterfeit which is affecting this country? Uh, like for us, when we use a key that is uh -huh. not original, mm -hmm. you will find that it will work maybe a, m a month, mm -hmm. then it will die completely. Mm -hmm. Or even syncing it with your car, mm -hmm. it cannot. Mm -hmm. So that's how we usually detect. Uh -huh. So And that is why when we charge our customers, mm -hmm. they usually think that we are very expensive, but they mm -hmm. do not know that the quality of uh, the keys that we have mm -hmm. are usually very, very high, and that we, we get them from dealers mm -hmm. who supply us with the keys. So right. it is usually 100%. Mm -hmm. If you want, for example, for a Toyota, if you want to know if your key is 100% original, mm -hmm. when the battery dies, mm -hmm. you cannot open the door, but you'll have to use the mechanical key to open. Mm -hmm. But now for the push to start, you'll just p put the key mm -hmm. closer to the button, mm -hmm. and now it will p come on. It will now turn on. All right, he uses mm -hmm. some form of waves. Yes. 
Right. Mm. So there is a picture on screen right there. That's yes. a Ford yes. that we are looking at. Yes. And we have mm. two keys. Yeah. We have two, mm. two pieces of things. Yes. All right. So mm. what is going on there? For, for this uh, example, this is a Ford Ranger uh -huh. whereby this customer wanted a duplicate key. Uh -huh. Now, for he did not come to us. Uh -huh. He went to, he told me he went to someone, uh, I cannot remember specifically where, uh -huh. but now him, he could not be able to program, uh, to program the remote for central locking to uh -huh. open and lock the doors. Uh -huh. But he has the key that can ignite uh -huh. the car. So for him, I told him we can do the central locking for you. Uh -huh. So we uh, did, the, 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 that is his original key, uh -huh. and we gave him a remote for opening it to put to the other key. For oh, yeah. he, he had already a duplicate key, uh -huh. so this is for the duplicate key now, because now for him, the, the door uh -huh. had an issue, uh -huh. so he could not open uh, manually. All right, yeah. so everything was all right, yes. except the, the center? The central locking. Central locking. Central locking. Yes. Yeah. All right, so uh -huh. you just opened up and programmed yes. the central locking, yes. right? Yeah. And then closed yeah. it up nicely yes. and gave it back to you. Yes. So uh, what is basically there's a, uh, 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 I can say a, a tablet, mm -hmm. a programming device mm -hmm. that does that. Mm -hmm. so there is nothing that we usually open up. Mm -hmm. Yes, for maybe a, a case for where you lose your your car key, uh -huh. that is where we, we there are parts that we there are components that we usually remove mm -hmm. and put it uh, in our machines. Uh -huh. That that process we usually call bench 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 working. Uh -huh. Yes, that is where you cannot work inside your car. You must put, you mu I must remove and come and do it maybe in the office. Uh -huh. Yeah. All so right. Yeah. So there's some yes. things you have to do at the office yes. and things you can do on location. Yes. Like this is a good example. Mm -hmm. For this, this is a legacy uh -huh. before. Uh -huh. For Subaru, it is pretty difficult to, pretty difficult to, to add a, a spare key. Uh -huh. You must remove a smart box, a box that is uh -huh. called smart box that contains the data uh -huh. for the key. So when you remove the it's data, it's like the b black box in yeah, your plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to something right. flat. Uh, yes. Uh -huh. So when you remove it, you you access the data. The data is in a, a small chip. Uh -huh. We call the EEPROM. Right. Yes. So you add the key now at that at the EEPROM. Now you come and put it to the car. Now, first of all, uh, you must be very careful because if these people, uh, these things usually, I can say they usually short. Uh -huh. So if you do not place it where it is supposed to be. Uh -huh. It will get uh, it will damage. damage. Wow! Yes. All these things you know about cars, yes. all this automation that is going on. Yes. Uh, when it comes to the mechanics, people yes. uh, people will rush to take it to a traditional mechanic yes. who maybe does not understand the the software yes. bit of it, the software side of it. Yes. Would you advise somebody in this day and age to take his or a car to a mechanic who doesn't understand the software side of cars? Uh, well, I would say no, mm -hmm. because. Uh, nowadays, you find that uh, there are so many uh, tools mm -hmm. or uh, gadgets mm -hmm. that we are able to do what you call car diagnosis. Mm -hmm. You diagnose the car, you get a report. Mm -hmm. So once you are going to your mech mm -hmm. who maybe do doesn't understand the softwares, mm -hmm. he might know uh, mm -hmm. the codes or the interpreted codes from your car. Mm -hmm. So you not have to kubomonisha everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trying to look here, there. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have software for diagnostics. Yes. It's not like the old days where you open everything no, to no, try no, no, and no, find no, no, no. something that is amiss. No, no, no. All right. Another thing I'd like to know, apart from uh, key key cutting, <laughs> mm -hmm. all right, mm -hmm. what is another thing that you guys are interested in or do or another service that you offer mm -hmm. to car owners out there? Uh, uh, usually, uh, most of the time, mm -hmm. we should, uh, like we, they are, they are recently we have imported but it is just a service that is related to what we do. Mm -hmm. Because now uh, when you diverse or when you go outside what you do, you d uh, the, at times you, you are not focused. Mm -hmm. So like for us, we said, first of all, let us stick to key programming mm -hmm. and key cutting. Mm -hmm. And other services will do just a small, small... Uh, yeah. As you progress, yes, as, as, as you yes. grow yeah. into the yes. business. There's something uh, that we call, mm -hmm. uh, I think we call Pareto role. Uh -huh. That is 820. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, this guy said uh, mm -hmm. you will find that 20% uh, of your main activities mm -hmm. generate 80% of your income. income. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Therefore, our main 
focus was key programming, key cutting. Key programming is for the for the killers, uh -huh. the push button. Eh? Uh -huh. The key cutting is the one with the blade. Uh -huh. So you cut, you have to cut those uh -huh. menus. Uh -huh. yeah? This is something you still do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So those are two uh -huh. services. Eh? Uh -huh. Then you find that uh, uh, these what we call smart boxes. Uh -huh. Some cars. Out, uh, maybe out of uh, usage, uh -huh. sometimes you find that, that those smart boxes are filled. Uh -huh. We do source them and sell them to customers. Mm -hmm. yes. Also, mm -hmm. alarms and um, uh, what do you cut call out. Cut yes. Yes. We uh -huh. do install them. Yes. Uh -huh. Those are just uh, what you call uh, extras. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the main business. Mind the, I'm at the main focus. The electronics yes. of the car. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Because you mainly deal with the yeah, electronics of the car. For me to program a key to cut a key. It's much easier mm. and uh, will generate more income, mm. unlike maybe installing over alarms. Right. Another yes. challenge that uh, young people are facing in yes. this country it, it, is trust. Yes. Uh, the older generation doesn't trust us so much. Even yes. our fellow youths don't trust us as yeah, much. Yeah. Uh, it's very easy to, to trust an older person in the game yes. uh, than a younger person in the game. Is this, ch is this a challenge you're facing? Yes, uh -huh. very much. Because now, uh, when, when, you are give, when someone like brings a car to us, mm -hmm. He, he or she tends to look at what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Unlike yes, when if yes, it's an older yes. person. Oh, yes. So now you, you find that he, he or she is giving you pressure uh -huh. that is unnecessary to what you're doing. Uh -huh. Now, after you are done, now that's why he realizes, he says, wow. This is possible. Yes, <laughs> right. yes, yes, yes. I shouldn't have doubted yes. it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Although, uh -huh. sometimes you find that uh, th this trust issue uh -huh. comes from uh, maybe location. Uh -huh. yes. uh, like, mm -hmm. while we are, we are student in uh, Kasarani, uh -huh. You find that uh, you get a client uh -huh. who is maybe from Gong Road, uh -huh. and he's saying, "Why is Kasaran? <laughs> like, <laughs> at me, at me, I can't come there, you know? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like, you see, uh, so uh, in one way or the other, uh -huh. I have to prove beyond doubt uh -huh. this customer uh -huh. that it is a safe mm -hmm. place, uh -huh. or uh -huh. I can do a mobile service uh -huh. to this customer, uh -huh. where I have to repackage some of the machines, uh -huh. head to his destination, because uh -huh. we also find that." Um, uh, this customer, maybe his, uh, his work schedule is so, so tight, uh -huh. so he can't afford some good time to come to Kasarani. Uh -huh. And he will not trust you to send his car uh -huh. without him being there to your location. Uh -huh. So it's you to repackage yourself uh -huh. to his destination so that he can trust what you're doing while he's there or <laughs> she's there. That. Yeah. So you've learned a lot from the business. Yes, yes. This is a partnership, yeah. uh, but you are running a sole proprietorship. You are running a sole proprietorship. Yeah. All right, what are some of the advantages that have come with you guys partnering as we wrap this up? Okay. Give us some two and then some two from you. Yeah. Mm. Uh, for, for us, uh, uh, through partnership, uh -huh. we are able to cut, uh, to, uh, to reduce time that uh -huh. I'm spending maybe on learning uh -huh. a certain issue uh -huh. uh, in comparing that if I was alone. Uh -huh. You need to learn everything. Everything. Uh -huh. So I'm able to tell him, let me do, concentrate on marketing and sales. Uh -huh. For you, tech. The, uh, the tech part. All right. Yeah. Tell us an, an advantage that has come with it. An advantage is like uh, when, you, uh, when you're incurring losses. Uh -huh. Uh, you, you, uh, you know, you're not nice alone. Right. Yes, uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. We'll edit it like yes, that. Yes, losses yes. I share. Yes. Such as the profits yes. I share, losses yeah, I share. Yeah, yeah. How can yeah. they get you guys on social media yeah. and your physical location? Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, we are Just look them straight into the eyes right there. Okay. Hi, guys. Uh -huh. We are at uh, Kasarani uh -huh. uh, near Power Star Supermarket. Uh -huh. that's, where we are that, that's where we have an office. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, that is uh, Auto Speed mm -hmm. Key yeah. Services, yes. both on IG and uh, mm -hmm. Facebook. Yes. All right, thank yeah. you very much. You. Uh, another yeah. thing you'd like to add? I can say that we are mobile. We mm -hmm. can come to your location. As well. Your yes. All right, yes. thank you very much. Yes. Did you give them a phone number? No, 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 I did not give them a phone Just number. give them the business phone number. Okay. I was like, Sumbuwe time, kuna bibi. You can do that. Uh, our phone number is 0729-765670. All right. Yes. Maybe a parting shot to the mm -hmm. young entrepreneurs out there. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we can we like tell them that uh, do your best. Uh, the opportunities are opportunities are there. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Kitambo used to say that funds are not available, but Kumbe we have ideas and funds, yes. but we don't sustain those businesses. Mm -hmm. So uh, work on your marketing mm -hmm. and sales strategy. Uh -huh. Then everything will be there for you. 
Wish you a very good at I can uh, tell. Thank you, man. Thank you very much, uh, guys, oh, okay. uh, for coming through. And thank you very much for the opportunities you're creating for yeah. the youth as well. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure very soon you're going to be employing a number of yeah. a number of us. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. We, yeah. Are com- we have come to the end of this Entrepreneurship Tuesday on w- on Y in the Morning. Uh, and my name is Barry Mosses, or it's Barry Morning. Every social media platform, tomorrow is another day for Y in the Morning. And tomorrow is Queen's Wednesday. Tomorrow we celebrate the Queen's. You don't want to miss it. Don't go nowhere. Don't type that dial because there's a lot lined up for you for the rest of the day as well.